the quake banter before the intro starts. Well, that, that, that's like yeah, that's true. That yeah, is, well, that was that, one, that, that was one of those moments. That yeah. Was that. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous. I'm trying to. I want to make sure this goes right. So yeah. Alrighty, here we go. Three, two, one. Welcome, welcome in everybody. My name is Dark and Tiger, the Tiger from Down Under, and welcome to our official Weep Time Hour. I am joined by the lovely Marcus Woofy. Hello. And the ever so lovely and amazing DJ from New Zealand, Corey Kuma. Hello there. How are we doing, guys? How are we going? Good. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Well, us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Th yeah, yeah. Thank you. It's, it's uh, been all right. Yeah. Well, thank you for being a part of the uh, first uh, official podcast. This is, like I said, I, oh, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm hoping this goes well. So hopefully we can get a... A really good going of this so yeah and yeah thank you so much for joining i really appreciate it yeah. anything right. to help anything to help yeah. out a friend i appreciate it <laughs> <laughs> i don't know if that's something there's something in behind that or but it, whatever <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so for people that are new here and you don't know what, what's going on um this has been a project of mine for the last oh god two three years um after About a two. About to, yeah, we'll say that. Um, basically, after a little thing at a convention that we or we have been a part of, Ferality Silver, um, I had the opportunity of meeting some really cool people, some voice actors, that podcasters and stuff like that. And I finally thought, you know what? Let's start doing this. So uh, we are officially starting Weep Time. And as a normal podcast goes, I wanted to get some guests involved. So here we have Corey and Marcus. Yeah. How have you guys yeah. been? How's your days been going? Anything crazy happy on your end? Not so much for me, really. Now, uh, like I, I just uh, had a normal day at work, uh, just doing deliveries, which was a lot shorter than usual. Mm -hmm. Like literally, like I started ten and I was done at eleven forty-five. Wow, that was quick. Like, yeah, wow. literally. That's I only, I only had five items, and that that was it. Oh, that's still fast go. for five items. That is, yeah. that is fast. They must well, have been they, all. They were pretty. They were pretty clo close to each other as well. And I had a and I had a good pl and a route planned out as well, like in, in the perfect order. So yeah, that, oh, that's, that's how I was able to get yeah. it efficiently. <laughs> yeah, delivering stuff like that, I guess, can be sometimes a little bit tiring if it's all over the place. Mm, but if it's nice yeah. close together, it makes it a bit quicker, and, I guess. And, and I don't and. And like I don't know where the items go until I actually get to the warehouse and I see the the order sheet. And so mm -hmm. I go, okay, this goes this here, here, and here, and then I'm just go to the table to start to order them. Like, okay, you going first, second, third, and so on, so on. Okay. And yeah, nice. And what about you, Corey? How's your day? Ah, my day's my day's been all right. You know, <laughs> you know, w work and such, and you know, uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a many major. Not much I can say, you know, office days and things like that. You know? Yeah, <laughs> uh, day, day, day time, daytime Corey is uh, is off duties now. So ah, fair enough. Yeah, fair I enough. mean, it is worth remembering that Corey is about two hours ahead of us right now. That is also very true. That is also very true for anyone curious. So it's yeah. Officially evening over there in New Yeesh. Zealand. Technically, technically so. Yeah. <laughs> so as I as I say on my on my particular stream, the the official. Uh, Time zone is always at EST, but hey, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's fair enough. <laughs> awesome, that's right. Well, as long as you had, a, as long as it was an all right day, nothing too crazy. That's... Yeah. As for me, I've been dealing with a nephew for the last few hours. Ah, uh, oh. I love my he's nephew. Cute. He's cute but troublesome, from what we hear, mm. keep hearing. Yeah, he, he's a, he's a little. He, he's that all children. Like... I guess it depends. It depends. I guess it depends. Yeah, that's a that's a fair point. I guess it depends. <laughs> but no, he's he's oh my god, he's been a wretch today. He's gone through every cupboard. He's pulling out everything. He's grabbing the he's grabbing my rugby ball, the soccer ball. He goes through the cutlery drawer. Oh my god, it's like it's it's literally like I swear to God, you would think a typhoon hit my house. I'm not joking. It is just an absolute mess. And then so you, you get need in... a nephew proof your house is what you're saying. Yeah, I'm trying to find locks and stuff like that. Child is, but locks, then, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, or just lock the child down. That's, that's the other option. <laughs> but I would like to, but he's one of those reverse babies. When you put him in a crib, he screams, and it's not fun. 
He that's the weird thing. He doesn't cry any other time. The only time he makes noises is if you put him in his little bed or you put him in like a closed off area. He will scream. Or if he hurts himself. Any other time, he doesn't make a peep. Just oh weird. He's just, just screaming, just don't fence me in. That's what he's <laughs> yeah, doing. Yeah, don't fence me yeah, pretty much. Or when he's in pain like he did today. He he was walking his little mo- lawnmower and I think we, well, I, I didn't see it, but I was in the kitchen. All of a sudden I heard this clonk and I was like, what the hell was that noise? And then next thing I, wee, I'm like, what did you do? I walk into the lounge room and I just see him staring up at me crying. I'm like, what did you hit? What, what, what happened? I just see him. I see a Lord Mar. I'm like, what, what, what happened? <laughs> he just looks at you weird. Ah, <laughs> mm. uh, uh, yes. Anyway, it, it, it kind of reminds me of the of one, of one of the stories I once heard. Um, um, one of my friends who who, who became like, like a mum a couple years ago, like, ah. and when when and when they uh, like it, it was a high school friend that I haven't seen like in years and years and years, and I mm-hmm. just like literally bumped into into them the other day. But yeah, they were saying like the fir- first like a year or two when they were st- still ra- raising the kid, and they they were just like, there was this one like one night. It's at like ten ten o'clock at night. The uh, the child would just not go to sleep. It was always just uh, crying. It was like, oh god. And then and then she was like, "F it, I quit." And I'm, so she just goes <laughs> downstairs, oh, yeah. puts the child ch- puts the puts the child on the rug, puts a toy in front of him, and then the kid just looks up uh, looks up at her and starts laughing. And oh, I, I was just like, you mean, you hate me. Ah, <laughs> uh, children, gotta love them. Win. <laughs> or put uh, them out the past. You're one of the two, well, I guess. Well, yeah, but... well, we, we're, not, we're not enforcing putting anyone out in a past or intruding, and we're not saying that. So don't, don't take that out of context. You, you and that, I just said, not enough. Hey, you, some, uh... some people are different. Some people are different. i got to put that out there just to make sure, you know, we don't want anyone to go and, you know, do something they shouldn't. Anyway, <laughs> moving true. on to anyway, the subject. Speaking about doing a bad, a bad suggestion there, uh, we're going to be yeah. jumping into our f- uh, official first topic, um, and I think this is probably a good topic to start with because I don't see a lot of people talking about it. So our first topic for today's discussion is bad decisions that companies have made. And this does mm. include, and I will say this now, it does include video game companies, music, uh, movies, TV shows, so any and everything you guys got, bring it out. I know I've got a couple myself from uh, personal experiences, um, from work experiences, <laughs> um, <laughs> but there are some... I might have a couple from my, my point of view too, possibly. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, let's, let's get into that. So uh, who wants to start rolling on this? Who wants to get the first topic out of it? Anyone? <laughs> I could bring up the first one. My the yeah. one I've got is um this was actually brought to my attention by one of my mods. Um oh. and it's basically with uh Diablo doing a uh basically they <laughs> I don't know how to explain it properly, so you guys can correct me mm. if I'm wrong. About something about their storage. Well, that too. <laughs> but um, no, 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 about their storage. Supposedly, your storage bag is like super, super limited, and then you have to like it, it's. I don't know. I don't know what the full understanding from it is because again, I don't play Diablo much Did anymore. Did you pay them money to, for it? For them to expand out the bag that supposedly that's what it is you uh, have to you have to pay seen that in other games like yeah here, like look i i i have i do have diablo 4 i got it on, on pc and i've been playing it i'm nearly finished with the last act as well so i'm kind of okay. behind so i mm-hmm. haven't I haven't made it to the seasonal stuff but <clears throat> but here, but yeah the storage well on at first glance there really isn't the greatest as much space as i uh, not not as much space as i thought there was gonna be mm-hmm. and and yeah i think i think i just heard about this too about apparently now you need to like start pay, paying to expand your but to it's, expand, expand your storage or something like but that what's story what's annoying about it is you can't do it with the in-game credit see they want you to actually use physical money to pay for it that's uh, the, the thing and that, it's like it's a uh, subscription model no 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 well 
I don't know, again, because I don't play it, but from what I understand is you have to pay, I think it's like $20, and you can get like 20 extra $20? slots. $20? That's, that's or some, $20? What a do- a dollar a slot? What? Some something like again. I don't I don't know the full. Like I said, I don't know the full story on this myself, um, because I was I I wasn't sort of big. Like I said, I'm not into Diablo, so I can't say much. But from what I've seen of it, it looks, it just it looks ridiculous. Like I was like, I remember uh, Guild Wars did it, but then they turned that around, and then well, who was it that did a similar? I think. Well, well so uh, I'll, I'll say this. Uh, there's an hmm. another MMO. Um, hmm. Elder Scrolls Online, ESO, and Sorry. they have a, a subscription model. Yes, they do. Uh, and where it does expand out your crafting bag and gives it unlimited slots. Otherwise, you mm. don't have. Uh, I don't think you ha- you don't have a crafting bag. It's all in your actually on hand bag slots. Correct. Yeah. And um, at least that they at least bundling it with that's the form of subscription, and it also comes with in-game store credits. Um, for their cosmetic shop, equal to the amount of your subscription, actually. Mm. Um, so that's when I would say you, they've done right with trying to incur, uh, give incurring revenue, and uh, also in, expand out mm. this inventory. Yeah. Um, well, they did but... do a they did do a thing recently, and this was given to me by my boss, and then it's also been told in a couple of my streams. I think. Mm-hmm. Marcus might have brought this up or fell on it. Was someone was telling me this, but basically, they've now brought out the next DLC, I believe, for it. But the problem with this DLC and the seasonal pass for it, it is literally more expensive than the actual game itself. Really? Which I was like, wait, what? So I think oh. what the game, I think the game was like what ninety nine. Let's just say ninety nine dollars. The sure. the season pass and the DLC f- that's supposed to come out with it is like one hundred and seventy nine, hundred and eighty nine dollars. And it's like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> that's news to me. Yeah, wow. I, I I heard that and I was like, wait, wait, it, wait you could literally buy the game <clears throat> with that. And I was like, hmm. what do you get in it? And they're like, oh, you get some inventory, you get this, you get this, you get a rideable mount. And I'm like, uh, why does it just sound like you're literally just buying the game? And he was like, oh. I'm like, so, I don't know, to me, that to me that sounds like a very bad decision on the company's part. So, well, I, I think this must have been from Falamon who said, who said that. Possibly. I don't remember talking. Okay, so then, uh, yeah. It's, I've, so, I've sort of, I've sort of dropped off off of the upload just uh, just because uh, I've been busy with all of it. Like, which it, again, and then games with, as well, but. yeah. For anyone who doesn't know, Marcus is also a Ubisoft uh, rep, so can understand with him being busy with his games choices. Again, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, well, yeah, and and Diablo Four just came out what beginning of June, and already uh, uh, June sixth. June, June 6th. yeah, yeah. So the first week of June. Right. Yeah. So. Oh. And it's the first week of August. Of August. And <laughs> so, wow. So yeah, they didn't. Well, we sort of one week into it already. At the, yeah, they, they have. This. Well, yeah. Yes, first week of August. So for anyone at the plane at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But so, it it it's it's bizarre to think like oh yeah cool we'll, we'll bring you out a game all this da 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 oh by the way you need to get the seasonal pass here's a DLC. Sorry, you just need to pay double the price you paid for the original game. But to me, that's already like that's it's like that, paying the game twice suddenly. Pretty much, with like, that yeah. hefty price tag on it. Like if they turn around and said, "Oh, we made a mistake. This 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 is just to help you know subsidize stuff." I think a lot of people would be like, "Yeah, okay, I can understand that." But just going, "No, here's your seasonal pass. Here's the extras. Go for it." It's like, I no. <laughs> I'll, I'll just stick to one thing. Um, another one we could talk about is let's have a look at like something like Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk was oh that in, came out disastrously. Yeah, did that came, they they oh, had man. they they made so much rapture, so much bloody like like the attention it, to it. Oh, this this, and then you got like uh, it was this? hyped up way too much. And then it came it was out up way too much. Yep, oh and it my came god, out oh. and blur. 
And I, I love. I mean, there's so many games like that. These oh days. god, yeah, yeah, yeah. Think, yeah. Of, well, think of the no, no Man's Sky too was another one. Oh uh, god, yeah. No oh, Man's Sky, that, that, Witcher that, Three, oh. Witcher Three, uh, Assassin mm. Assassin's Creed Unity. Hey, that oh my was, god, I'm um, about um, Fallout. Uh, yep. Well, uh, the, it's, the one in uh, West Virginia, yeah. Yeah, yeah. West Virginia. Anyway, uh, <laughs> anyway. <Yeah. laughs> um, but it, it's it's sort of strange. It's like you would think a company who's trying to, you know, they want to bring out the best of the best game they've got, this, mm. that, and the other. You would think they would actually make more of an effort to go, okay, something's wrong. What? Why are we putting this out? Why is there bugs? Now, from what I've heard since, now I, I, this is going just by... Uh, cyberpunk because i've heard the news about it mm-hmm. cyberpunk's when i think it was month three month three or month four i can't remember exactly it was one of the months uh the ceo and all the people had a meeting and the cco was like what's going on why have we got all these problems why are people some of their creators the dev team were getting death threats <gasps> Oh, that is this. that was I remember bad. This. And the CEO was like, cool, why did this go so wrong? And then all of a sudden the devs were like, this, this is, and he's like, so why didn't you check? And a lot of them were like, well, we did check, but you never said anything. It's like, I never saw anything. He openly admitted that he had never seen the project before it went out. Really? And I'm like, I was like, you published it. How do you not have a say in what goes on in there? And supposedly from the rumor mill, again, this could be wrong. I could be right. I'm not sure. A lot of the dev team had to resign because people were, they were being forced to work too many hours. They were trying to get this stuff. And it just because of the amount of people they were losing, they didn't have people come in to check everything over. And by the time it got to the CEO, it was already, it was already released. And I was mm. like, that's a really bad decision to do. Like, mm. you should check over your game, get play tests out of it first to see the bugs. Now, I yeah. get that they're now bringing out, uh, what is it, the the next DLC, uh, the big DLC. Phantom, uh, Liber- Phantom Liberty comes out later this year, yeah. Yeah, Phantom Liberty is supposedly the big one. This is the company going, we fucked up. Here's what we're giving you. And it's supposed Mm. to fix the problems. It's supposed to run smoothly. And I'm just sitting here going, no. Yeah. (laughs) Well, I I I feel this of like there's so many games lately that it's like there's the hype of playing out on release day, and but it's also like just let's wait the point one the the point one patch. (laughs) <laughs> you know, get, um, it's like you know maybe you buy the game on day one if it comes with extra pre-order bonuses and things but just let it sit there on the shelf for just a little bit let it um simmer and let let an update come out because well, uh and and that's the thing they didn't even do an update for C- cyberpunk until like four or five months later which was a big oh problem like yeah. I think I think I think you guys remember me playing it. I had some oh. weird bugs. I had like I was going, I think uh what's the club name? Uh Afterlife. Yeah. I had random people walking up invisible stairs. I'm like <clears throat> uh hi, bye. Where are you going? <laughs> and then I would do the sudden T posing out of my car. I was like, oh okay, I'm inserting dominance uh, to my car. I'm like, I, I had yeah, those yeah, two yeah. as well the in year one. <laughs> Did you have the one where instead of a gun, you had an arm? I had that too. There, I said, funnily of... enough, I had that too. And then there was one, and, and I, I was, actually... And I was I... playing the... I had the PS4 disc, I'm playing on a PS5, and, and that was supposed <laughs> to work like fine, but apparently nope. not. Nope. Well, there was a bug oh. I had where I couldn't find a poster... Because you know how you got to do like the uh, token cards and all this? Yeah. And I went to the air and I'm like, okay, it says the poster's here. And I'm like, where was the poster? And for some benign reason, it was built into a cement brick wall. I'm like, how do I scan that when you've got a brick wall? I'm like, oh, I'll just put on the, in, uh, the thing, the thermals and all that. It didn't come up. And I'm like... How am I meant to get this? How am I supposed to hang on a minute? This isn't right. I want I want this get this over with. It's like, nope. 
and i found out it's it, it's just that was just like one of many things it's just uh supposedly there was a thing with adam smasher as well people like every time they faced him he would have like infinity health i'm like oh my god oh, yeah. it was crazy oh god. Um, it's 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 so interesting because like it was obviously a buggy mess and this it got released like towards what end of 2020 i think it was end, end of 2020 yeah yeah end, end like of 2020 that, yeah. yeah and then and then about a year later if i see that okay they finally released the ne next gen version of it for for xbox series x and uh ps5 i i got that i got it at a discounted price as well thank goodness and mm -hmm. uh i started playing it from the top and it ran smoothly without um, almost pretty, pretty much almost a, a no, no issues whatsoever which mm. just goes to show like see you just you just had to wait obviously we just needed to that extra year or, so, or something because obviously well, after the, after well, the CEO you know, after the CEO saw it, he was like, "We that's it. Stop, yeah. stop. Don't do any more to it. Fix it." And he he we knuckled like he, he he knuckled down on it, and he even said like there wasn't going to be any more updates until they fixed it. They went through yep. it. They went through all the reports, including some of the death threat ones, because technically mm -hmm. they were reports. Mm. I don't know why you would use uh -huh. a death threat to fix a problem, but you know what? If it gives them what they need, then you know what? I'll take it. But still, Jesus. Mm. <laughs> uh, well i mean this is almost it i mean you, you're about to embark on this uh journey dark and uh, oh, no. but it's almost as disastrous as the first version of final fantasy 14 um that is that, true that is that true was, i heard that, about that was so many bugs um it was not the very first one, well yeah. they, um this is 1.0 this is not, I'm not talking about A Realm Reborn. A Realm Reborn was the rebirth and um, fixing of the game. Um, oh, God. <laughs> it, it, you know, it, is, it says something about a game uh, when the developers literally throw a meteor into, into your game to cause mass annihilation, to wipe the slate clean, to, to start again. Um, so... God, it's the uh, Fortnite thing all over again. Oh no, <laughs> that's so, so true. So, so, <laughs> but, but I will say at least for fourteen, uh, you know. Well, yeah, they've got a meteor and was it's, it's fourteen. It, it was was the right uh, Final mm. Fantasy fourteen was that was the right call um, to rebuild it from scratch, and they mm. act, uh, actually listened to uh, the player base and also Finally. looked at what other MOs are doing and to actually build out uh, the game hmm. um and and now it's now it's either it's probably the mo uh, to make it a successful mmo i'm about to say it's the most played currently mmo or is it still number I'm, two I mean, the, I, the numbers are a bit of wonky it but it's yeah uh, I mean, I I think I remember just uh, been uh, taking a couple of uh, MMO awards at the, at the game awards at least. Well, it's true. It's, true. It's, it's, well, it is the critically acclaimed game, you know, mm. <laughs> with, and the crit and the critically okay. acclaimed expansion. Oh, uh, there we go. Okay, so chat. <laughs> okay, so if anyone's listen, anyone listening, just so you're aware, Corey does do this thing where every Thursday he has critically acclaimed. Final Fantasy. So if anyone is curious and ever wants to know more about Final Fantasy or critically acclaimed, please go see Corey's channel. <laughs> You'll see it next. He's always going on about it. Uh, it's always there. The critically always acclaimed there with... MMO with the critically acclaimed. Uh, uh, so you can play. You can play up through the entirety of Heaven's Word, including the, the critically acclaimed Heaven's Word. Ah, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> case in point, chat. Also, there you go, guys. And and you can play Stormblood coming in at uh, 6.5 that is very true there you go so mm. now is a good time to get into final fantasy but we'll get into that <laughs> yeah you did not judge yes i know, I know. On Thursday night. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah but as you can see guys like it, it's it's just it's just it's, the gaming companies are i think i think because of what's happened with covid and the way stuff have been that's just how they've started to get like i remember when unity came out unity was an Assassin's Creed Unity was just a freaking flop and a half. Almost that, that was 2014, oh. I think it was. Yeah, 2014, 20, uh, late 2013. But it was it was such a flop, and it got so bad that the company went, "How do we get this game out?" Like, oh, I know, let's sell it with a graphics card. 
The problem is you sold it with a graphics card that broke down six months later. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, it's well, like, that, that just seems appropriate for it, yeah, doesn't it? Um, yeah. And then they're like, okay, well, clearly NVIDIA is not doing it for us, so let's go over to AMD. Oh, yeah, that, oh. didn't, that didn't last long with AMD. Oh, <laughs> and that just was another fuck. Yeah. But it, it shows, like, even gaming companies have have a a record of showing like not all of them are perfect like there is some, don't get me wrong there is some games out there that are perfect but I, it, it's a uh, what's the word uh some yeah brango burr uh what is it uh oh my god i can't even think of it now my brain just went absolutely blonde then for a minute oh my god uh well I, i'm just kind of thinking that in the last three year three four years maybe five Mm. the number of triple a games that have launched without some major hitch is actually the minority yeah I, I, it it is, actually, is what yeah. it feels like mm. even um, like even the new pokemon scarlet and Vi- uh, yeah scarlet and violet yeah scarlet and violet yeah that mm. that and nintendo are notorious for making good nintendo, uh, pokemon games mm. how did they royally screw this up like, how did that they, yeah how did the how did those Pokemon graphics... has, formula hasn't changed. Is the, it, it the has, formula. it hasn't. But they did with this one. This is one of the first Pokemon games that they've decided to go. We're not going by a script. So, for people who don't know, with the Pokemon games, it's usually you're a trainer, you go to a gym, you battle it, and you keep going till you become the champion. Whereas with Skull and Violet, they took it. Uh, they took a um, <clears throat> an idea they did previously. If you've played it, you, you might have played it. You might not have. I don't know. Pokemon Legends Arceus. Pokemon Legends Arceus was the very first Pokemon game that had no gyms, which for me, mm. as a po- someone who grew up around Pokemon, I love it. I think that's super cool. And it was open world. You can go and explore, do whatever. So and it was some, the, and it was set in a world that was like thousands and thousands of years ago. Exactly. Something. Yeah, it was sort of like a, a prequel to what Pokemon is now. So yeah. they in, brought that into Scarlet and Violet where they went open world. Oh, but we're going to change it up a bit. You don't have to do just the gyms now. Now you've got legendaries. You've got bad guys because there's obviously no uh, more bad team guys Rocket. Bases, yep. And they changed up. But the benefit of it is you didn't have to do them in order. You can go mm. in any order you want, which I is, mean, well, it is ra- different. Well, Oh, hmm. based on the map of course it uh, does give you like the, the level oh, recommendation yeah, well, of it but still but still it, it literally gave you the freedom of like you could do this in any order you wish yeah so again whether that because of the way they went off script with that caused the bugs i don't know but i know when that dropped yeah that was <laughs> i think i remember working we had like half a dozen people come back with the game saying it was just buggy and i'm like <laughs> like nintendo what's going on <laughs> this is not good but again, normally Nintendo's not is not as bad as the others. No, which is I mean, bizarre. Usually, usually. Mm. It, like I, I, I haven't played. I haven't come back to uh, Pokemon Scarlet for quite quite some time. Ago, so I'm not a hundred percent sure whether they've improved on their visuals. Okay, supposedly, that, that probably, supposedly well, they've had that one of the things that, Yeah, because oh. that was one of the th- things that they was the biggest complaint about uh, how some of the uh, the frames were like really dropping, mm. but for, especially with. Uh, like the, um, what was the one that was the, the most obvious one? It's the it's the Pokemon setters. The Pokemon setting a logo. When, 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 it when, would when, glitch. When the logo, it would it would literally just like go like tick 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 rather than just like spinning smoothly like it mm. should. So there yeah. was there was that obviously, and then there was and then when you would go into like some towns, you could sit, you could sort of see like the uh, the, the civilians are wa- wa- civilians walking frames were getting slow slowed down as well, and they wouldn't go smoothly until you're like really close mm. to them. Or suddenly you'd go see someone and then all of a sudden it just like poof disappeared. Yeah, <laughs> you, that, don't, that you don't know too. where they disappeared to. But they they did announce. I know that they've done their um was it their Pokemon Direct uh, last night. They were saying with the new DLCs coming out, which from mm. what I've seen of it, it looks really good. Not impressed with the, some of the new Pokemon. Uh, they did. They did just announce as well when the part one is announced, which, which is now on which September thirteenth, which is good. So literally a day before my brother's birthday. Huzzah! Yep. And, uh, and, and the second part, and the second part will be released later this year. Yeah, which is good. So that gives us something to uh, mm. play. But it's again, but that's that's the thing. Like it's, and a lot of people just don't understand it. But that's how the world is. Some games are just like that. But it's not just you know, gaming companies that have had bad decisions 
Hmm. Yeah, let's talk I mean, about some TV and movies shows. I, I mean, I mean, some of them come down to greed. Let's put it that way. Uh, well, is I is mean, it a greed? Is it a greed thing? You think, or do you think it's because they want they they're pushing something because they think, oh, this is going to be a hot sell. This is going to get us this this. Well, actually, now that I say well, that, no, maybe you're right. Well, <laughs> well it, it depends on depends. Um, you know, I'm think I'm thinking the MCU at the moment. <laughs> hey, oh, 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 oh my oh. god okay i just had this discussion with my boss the other day it's go. like they've, they've over expanded the universe they've put out too too mm. many properties i think um, i think it's trying to I think we have too much i think we have the multiverse to blame for that the multi yeah, i think yeah was, exactly that multiverse one, one of the things. yeah because what was it they did so many like again don't get me wrong like i'm glad they're bringing comic book characters to life like it's cool to actually see some of them Mm -hmm. but there has to be like to me there has to be a thing where it's like you know maybe we should just slow down a minute take a second yeah. go through like, it. are we like are we taking this a bit too far now because what we're, we're yeah. nearing i think we're nearing the end of phase five beginning phase six i'm not a hundred percent sure how i honestly the phases for me are like I, i've lost nah. track on that i've one. lost track as well so let's so far let's see what has bombed so far in the current with loki loki started out great loki the tv show started out great i, I think i think that one's okay that um, yeah I, no, that's okay I, secret but, invasion i think it's bombed that's the latest one well yeah secret invasion that kind of flop uh cloak and dagger that was so much hype for cloak and dagger i haven't seen anything of it and supposedly it flopped i'm like wait what how, how did when, when did this happen i didn't know about it um oh but yeah secret wars i heard that that bombed like really badly um yeah. loki loki what i was gonna say get out with though is loki was good like the first season the second season is obviously coming out but it also broke a little bit of the the timeline because it brought in again i'm not going to say too much i don't want to spoil it if you haven't seen it guys um but um it brought in a character that had connections to multiverse and i'm like can, can you not do this? Don't, don't, don't just. Don't. Oh, okay, you can touch what, the subject now. Okay, bye. Uh, well, okay. So they 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 set it's setting up the whole next phase and mm. like setting up like the whole multiverse of Marvel properties. Yeah. From Loki the TV show, which you know, admittedly, of any TV show, that one's mm. probably the one that's got the most eyes on it. Really? Um, because I feel Agents of Shield actually did a lot. Because I remember no, I... that. That really? just kind of died out because that was all B characters. Loki had a movie character, had had um, uh, Tom Hiddleston in it, and he, um, and people would, would watch would watch it for him. Yeah, true, but Clark, remember they had Agent Clarkson in, who was a part of the Avengers stuff. Obviously, then got killed. But in the show, in the TV show, because there was a lot of, uh, and I remember hearing about this during Agents of Shield. They did refer to a lot of the stuff about the Avengers, Tony, like because because they you hear them every now and again talking about certain characters. There was even on I don't know if people saw it in one of the episodes. They had a certain skeleton on the wall, and I don't know if anyone mm. paid attention to that very well. There was something about his hands. Hmm. Mm. Logan. Um, um, oh yeah, that's right. Uh, so uh, they had it did connect some things, but yes, I agree. It did. It didn't have a lot, and yes, it has since died out. As much as I hate to say that, but it did because certain characters and someone's contract came up a little too quickly. But we're not going to talk about that one. Uh, yeah. I just, but I just pulled up. I just pulled up the timeline. We're actually okay. about halfway through phase five now, actually. Because uh, oh. Well, like, oh Okay. Because Loki, Loki season two is ju is just about to start, and the Marvels was was in the cinemas not too long ago, in in just the end of July. Wait, the Mar wait the Marvels? Yeah, Miss Marvel, Captain Marvel, that 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 trio movie. Yeah, I, wait, but isn't, wait, that, wait. isn't that a TV show on Disney Plus? No, that's a that's a feature film. I've sorry to say this, but I've never seen. I never saw that at the cinema. I never saw that pop really? up. Hmm. I remember that, seeing like, the. I remember. I do remember see, uh, seeing uh, the trailer of that. Uh, that uh, I one, didn't... one of the times we went. That's. Uh, or maybe it was uh, me. But I yeah. think Marcus. I think you can. Uh, I hate to correct you, but that that comes out in November. 
Oh, is it, oh it's been moved to November. Oh, okay. okay. Oh my god, I was going to say I don't remember seeing anything for that. I only heard I heard the name. Okay. Yeah. They must oh, wow. Have, yeah, because I'm because because it, it was announced for for July, but I guess it got pushed back or something. Well, but that, now, it also doesn't help that there is currently a um an actor strike, so that could also be another uh, reason. That, that could be true. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, now in terms of the timeline, we're about halfway through phase oh, five really? at the moment. Yeah, because we still got we still got Blade. Blade still coming. Oh boy, got, I'm I'm worried. Got, I'm worried how that's gonna play out. Oh no! Like I don't get me wrong. I love Wesley Snipes Blade. I absolutely adore him. I thought he did so well with it. I'm I'm worried. I'm really worried for this I, I one. I mean, I, I I think that one you just leave as Wesley Snipes and just kind of Done. gloss over that for for the MCU. Mm. Not everything needs to be resurrected. <laughs> Well, um, they they want to bring him. They, but. <laughs> that's true, but they want to bring him in because in one of the comics, Blade was part of the Avengers, ever so briefly, and I think yeah. that's where they're heading with it. Hence, Morpheus. Oh, now that was a bad decision I've ever seen. Oh. One. Oh, Morpheus, mm. goodness gracious! Look, I would have been okay with Morpheus. I really would have been if they had stuck to a slight comic book version. Mm. They butchered that. They really did. I was like, what? "Why? What? Mm. No, that that's not that's not the Morbius I know. Why are you doing it like that?" I'm like, "Ah." But that that I heard that 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 was filleted and thrown out really quickly. Even people because yeah. it it was supposedly also meant to connect with Loki and this other character, which I won't name, and it just yeah teetered out to a complete. <laughs> nightmare bombshell so yeah well again that that, that goes into them over overarching uh, uh just mm. over overreaching and yeah. like not not all their pro properties are a plus not all of them mm. um, well, what, and what about I mean, um we what about go, the we could talk about go, DC sorry. universe but <laughs> well let, let's face it it's dc <laughs> yeah. dc uh, as much as i love the dc world and all their comics and all that and i again don't get me wrong i love my batman batman best superhero. Mm. um <laughs> is it just me or do they just not know how to produce movies i'm sorry they just i have i uh i, I kind of i've asked the same question as well because their films are just not that not that like, memorable <laughs> I will say oh, well, the Justice League oh, well, the Justice League movie was pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty good. I just think they needed to add and subtract a couple of little itty bitty things. Yeah. Just a thought. Of course, of course I felt like it was just rehashing the the, the uh, Superman movie before. See I the, think the, it the... was. Because it was supposed to push in the like the Flash, it was pushing in Wonder Woman, even though Wonder Woman's movie was also a bit meh, and then bring in the new Batman, who has now since not the Batman, and then it went yeah. back to him, and then it, again, there's a bad decision on its own. Just how many Batman do you need? Stick to two and leave it at that. Good grief. <laughs> well, that's well, it, you, it's Ben Affleck, you know, leaving is you know. Uh, but they didn't yeah. do, quite do his character right, yeah. um, and though he better than George Clooney, we'll say that. Oh, um, oh, 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 you want the Batman with the nipples? Yes, the rubber nipples. Corey, <laughs> come on, what's wrong with you, man? I'm sorry, but Clooney, hello, sailor. Yes, please, give me Clooney any day. Absolutely, he made a be better Bruce Wayne. Um, Oof. than Batman itself. Mm. Now I'll, I'll say that I'll. Yeah, all right. You know what? You know what? All right. I'll let I'll let that slide just by that statement. Yeah, you know what? I'll let that slide. Just <laughs> <laughs> the 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 problem the two universes have mm. is, in, in my view, mm. is Marvel has great heroes. Where mm -hmm. DC has great villains, and I think the villain villains are more compelling in the DC universe than the villains of the Marvel. The problem you have is your heroes are always going to be your main protagonists, and so at least the heroes of the Marvel universe can carry it forward, even if the big bad at the time is okay. Yeah, okay, it's I, just I, okay. 
So are you saying like Suicide Squad for them was better than say Justice League? In other ah, words, is that the thing? Well, now, because that's literally putting oh, the vil. Well, see, that's the thing. You, uh, just by going by that statement, that would mean you're saying Suicide Squad is better than the Justice League movie. That's what it comes across. Because to be honest, yeah, I, I see what you mean. Like technically, yes, the, the villains in DC Universe are actually, well, again, they're pretty top tier. Again, we can't, you cannot deny the Joker alone. Joker yeah, is yeah. already a phenomenal. Joker and Harley Quinn, yeah. Well, uh, Harley, Joker, Harley, Riddler. Riddler uh, yeah, Riddler's really good. Penguin. Uh, yeah. uh, Freeze. Depends on, yeah. Freeze is not too Freeze. Bad. Freeze. Poison Ivy. Bane. Um, Solomon Grundy. Uh, I honestly, the Solomon Grundy in that was kind of, yeah. but yeah, no, no, that's that's true. Um, Swamp Thing, Zod. Um, Zod. I think the new version of Zod was actually yeah. Really good. No, you that know one. what? No, that's true. Yeah, he was pretty good. How? Yeah, I believe Zod was. Yep. Uh, Black Adam is in there as well. Uh, and again, was the Black Adam a movie that good? Okay, okay. I, I'm putting. I'm just putting the character. I'm not talking about the movie. I'm just talking the character okay. itself. So just Black Adam, right. yeah, just the character. If you want to talk about bad movies, yeah. <laughs> look, I love the Rock and all, and damn, oh, I'd uh-huh. love to spend twenty minutes with the man. But mm-hmm. no, that mm-hmm. that movie, okay. that movie. Oh boy, I that, will that was say, a Vanity Project. Um, I will say though, Pierce Brodnan in that. Right. Ouch. Damn, he nailed that. Like, I, I was like, when is he ever going to be get a superhero? Because he, he's always said he wants to do a superhero role, but they mm. never, he could never get one. And I wow, think that was- doing that, oh, I was like, uh, you know, Piercy, Piercy, that, that is all you, baby. <laughs> yes, that, and it works so well with him. I'm like, you don't have to do much. You're not doing much action because he's again. He's, well, it was, it was a great actor because it was it, the the character had complexity because it kind of had a duality of like mm-hmm. he's you know trying to be the good character, quote unquote, but really was kind of portrayed as kind of the villain against mm. Black Adam mm. for you know for a good portion of it. Yeah. Uh, so he kind of played both roles mm. uh, very very well. Yeah. Uh, Again, that's Pierce Brodon. He he's just he knows how to deal. He's a fantastic actor. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So again, I I will I give him the claps because he deserves that. I think he did a very good job with that. But um, yeah. Again, DC does have some very complex and unique villains, whereas Marvel's mm. villains, well, again, you slap mm. them with a hammer and they're kind of already done, <laughs> yeah. which is kind of upsetting. Um, until they fight each yeah. other. Now that's when it was a bit more interesting. That's where it gets, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, sp- speaking of villains, you know, we, uh, that last uh, independent Thor movie, um L- with Love and Thunder. I forget the uh... name of the villain there. <laughs> was, uh, <sighs> where Christian Bale came and went and I was like the god killer. I was like, "Oh, and okay, well, oh. that the yeah, Love and Thunder. Yeah, yeah that, okay. there's a, there's there's a there's a bad decision of ever so uh, like, Oh, yeah. That like, that in in all of Marvel's history, like I get it, you want to you want to send Chris Hemsworth off with a a bang. Don't think that was the right way to do and, it. And oh, and, boy, de- oh, and deal with Natalie Portman too, for that matter, because she just kind of went away for no reason. That is true. Movies. That is true. She and, just suddenly went poof. But, yeah. the way, but the way to do that to Natalie Portman, it's like really, yeah. I, I mean, sure, <laughs> she, she she gets the visit to Valhalla, but you but, know, you know, <laughs> yeah, phew, yeah, but, but uh, <laughs> sheesh. Uh. But it's like, but it's like, th- when this is supposed to be the colorful, fun movie, and it's like, um, I'm sorry, the nope. movies come out two years, um, cancer. It's like, <laughs> the, where's Tea the fuck with cancer? It's like, here we go. It's like, it's like, yeah, Thor's trying to make a joke. And cancer. It's like what? no, this is but, like. Please. Wasn't well, isn't there now memes out there about him and the hammer thing? Like, oh my god, the amount of clips I see of Thor going, Mjolnir, and then it flies away from him, and then out of nowhere you see Stormbreaker just floating up next to him, looking at Thor, and I'm like, 
wait, are we, what, what, what's this meant to be? And then I realized, wait, are they doing that meme? And it's now become the new thing. I'm like, wait, huh? What? what? I, like, I didn't, I didn't get it. Like, I get Thor is upset that his hammer is gone, but you, you have a new one. Like, that's the whole point. And, mm. and, oh, and I was like, so wait, what does everyone take away from the movie? Oh, Thor is rock hard for a million year, even though it's broken. Stormbreaker feels neglected, and Thor's X is now the new Thor. I'm like, please tell me there's more than that in that movie. And everyone's like, nope, that's it. I'm like, uh, okay, good to know. I move it on then. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. It just, it, it, I'm, I'm really surprised because like the first two movies of Thor, I really enjoyed. Mm. But this, to me, it was like, Ooh, okay. Oh, well, yeah, there it the, is. <laughs> well, I'll say the first and third movies I really enjoyed, the Thor. Um, there was the second movie. was a movie. It was rad. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, they had to well, yeah. well, when you have Heller involved. Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, well, well, Heller was... Uh, no, that was... Um, not Valhalla. Um, well, Ragnarok. she is from. Yeah, that, that was right. That, that, yeah. that was the third. That was the third Thor movie. Oh, that's that oh. Well, then the yeah, third. one and three. Then all right, one and three. Then yeah, we we all you forgot about. The I Dark forgot, World, didn't you? I forgot about the yeah. Cool. Actually, to be perfectly honest, I haven't seen it. To be honest, I have not seen the Dark World. I I, I no. That's probably what a tortured Loki. That's yeah, pr- probably that's probably what I've missed. <laughs> with, with daddy issues that he later regrets that if you've seen all the properties afterwards you kind of you you fill that in um well again i again i've read the comic so i know how loki how that little chestnut was supposed to go so he in the comics he does the same thing he literally regrets his decisions and then eventually he does repent and then all is well um i will say one thing though and i kind of and this this even though Tineka were talking about bad decisions, I'm going to say they did one good decision, and that is the animated oh. series What If. Oh, yeah. Those, I heard re- that, but- those were really interesting because they took a strip from one of the comics where What If the Marvel user was different. So in one of the episodes, again, don't want to give two away, Loki wasn't Loki Loki. Loki was his normal self, the blue version. And at first, you think Loki and Thor hate each other, but they're like two things. I was uh, watching, watching the episode, and it's like, Loki, hey, Thor, my brother from another mother. I'm like, hey, got a minute? What? Where'd you go? Hey, you got a minute? And it, because of the whole, it's a what if thing, it was so different. And I was like, why wasn't this something you could have done in the movie? You could have easily flailed with that idea. And it would have been really cool, but they went no, and that's why the What If series has done has done really really well. I'm sad that it's mainly was like what eight episodes, nine episodes, something like that. Mm. Mm. It was very very short, but again, it's What If things went differently. Like even Doctor Strange, ooh, Doctor Strange went really dark. Um, I mean, that's easy. To, I can imagine easy to do. Uh, summoning a portal, absorbing all the negative energy. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, <laughs> then again, we did kind of see we did kind of see him in uh, Doctor Strange, Madness of the Multiverse. Mm. As much as I, I, people are telling me that movie was terrible, I really did enjoy it. I liked it, and I love the cameos. Like <gasps> Professor X, you're alive! Yay! I was like, oh. I- that that was interesting in the other um yeah the other universe mm. um uh and then the a nod to the fantastic four there briefly which and, is now going to be a thing now because that's gonna mm, again that's gonna be in the, six. but they did but they did scarlet witch so wrong oh they, god yeah well oh, so Jesus which Christ. i think that's that's the greater travesty in that movie it's like they did and this is what happens and it gets back to the earlier point of so many properties. They did that movie and all the writing for it before they did WandaVision. Uh, and WandaVision, which came out before the movie. That's true. Uh, yeah. Uh, mechanically oh, and is like they actually <clears throat> did a lot of character development. And you feel bad for her. 
though there's a bit of like you know those children you created those children out of thin air for two days and you want to <laughs> destroy the universe oh uh, for that now but but she but the uh, thing is she got it in her head that that that's the thing that was real to her she had physically made them so she thought okay they are my kids when it was it was but, literally an illusion it was an illusion and she kind of grieved and she and she grie- um grieved for vision uh and, well, and she grieved this she grieved for through vision. Her guilt yeah. the whole way through but yeah but by the end she was like there was character development and she was willing to let it all let let it let it go and let leave, let the town go yeah. um but now, it was that, like too little too late kind of and they turned her into a, literally a comic book villain <laughs> which was uh, for, which... For, for, for Doctor Strange in the multiverse mm. um so all the all the dynamicness they built was tossed out the window and um <laughs> and it so it's and that's and that's where you've and that's where they've overextended and where they when they want to have everything tied together it's the continuity mm. uh that um is suffering is because you have so many properties now you can't maintain the continuity that you need to yeah uh, when everything's so tied together when you're basically having a tv show s- li- literally set up a movie no, um, that's true that is true well it's it's also the same like you could say the same sort of thing with the way how spider-man's been trade within the marvel universe because mm. how many different iterations have we had with Spider-Man and then they just keep throwing, oh, yeah, we're going to do this. And then they did the, what was the, what's the most recent Spider-Man? Um, um, uh, oh, my God. No, no, no Way Home. No Way Home. Yeah. They brought yeah. the original Spider-Man in, which to me, I thought that That's was cool. Right. I, I love seeing, to- oh, Toby has not aged well. And then Andrew Guff, <laughs> oh, I love Andrew, Andrew Garfield. Garfield. Uh, and I love Andrew Garfield. He is such a charmer. Mm, He's got such good is. pizzazz. And I'm sad that he only got like originally he was meant to get two, three he movies. Only got two. Yeah, he was meant to get he only three. Got two. Yeah, yeah, which annoys me. But anyway, whatever. But they brought them in, and I thought, okay, cool. You're bringing in uh, these things. Obviously, you got to bring the villains in. Another brought the lizard, Doc Ock, Electrode. Uh-huh bring goblin i was like okay cool we're getting to see thing and it's like wait hang on hmm. these are mostly all toby's what where was garfield you got electrode i'm like okay cool i um, mean he didn't what, have compelling villains that was the problem well he only had he only had well te- well technically he would have had two yeah, two movies mm. yeah no but he technically would have had two he would have had goblin and electrode and technically mm. at the end he had rhino but no, we don't count that one because that rhino. Uh, anyway, because um, that was way off normal rhino for me. Anyway, uh-huh. but it was like, okay, cool. So you bring Toby's, you bring Ryan's. Where's Tom's? Well, Did it, does any? The... Yeah, but no. Yeah. Think about it. Where were Tom's villains? Think about it. What did you did you ever see a Tom villain at all? The only no. thing you saw was Doctor Strange. Which was, so, and I was like, okay, you're bringing all these villains together. They're fighting versions. Why is it you bring in more of Toby's, one of Andrews, and then Tom doesn't have a vet, uh, doesn't have anyone? You could have easily done like, oh, I forgot, Sandman was in there as well. Another one of Toby's. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's like, wh- hang on, wh- all right. Well, didn't Tom? Doesn't Tom have like half a dozen villains? You could have thrown in that movie. That I mean, like, uh, Thanos is dead. Um, well, you have... technically, in the time when that happened, he wasn't. Because remember, uh, the, the Avengers kicked Spider Man out at the time, and that's when they were trying to work out where he was. So, this that went on during when Thanos was off world. So, that's why it didn't right. affect him. Um, and I think that's when I think that's when Strange had officially. He was taking over, or he was about to take over as a Sorcerer Supreme, but he didn't get it, and he lost it to uh, uh, Wong. That's a bloody minefield on its own uh, chestnut, but we won't go into that one, because that's another bad decision, but we're not talking about that. (laughs) Um, But it was like, that's the thing, like, Tom, 
Again, don't worry, I love Tom. I think Tom's a great Spider-Man. I can tell every now and again he does try to bring out the British humour because there's plenty of bloopers out there of him screwing yep. up his line and he says something and it's like, ah, and then it's a, you hear his British side of him. I'm like, ah, oh, isn't that cute? <laughs> <laughs> in, I, I heard that in one of the movies he actually even got to play with his brother. His brother was a robber. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah what his his brother joined the movie his brother had to steal a purse from a woman and obviously tom would swing past grab his foot and hang him upside down supposedly they did that um and it was really bad because obviously his brother was hung upside down for a good i think he said like six to eight hours because oh, ba- basically the story behind it was tom was talking to his brother about a scene that he was doing because he was upside down for so long Da 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 da, um, and his brother said, "Oh, it can't be that hard." And then Tom was like, "Well, if you if you think it's so hard, come to the set. We'll hang you upside down, see how you like it." He goes, "All right, you're on." So they organised a scene where he would be in it, and he was a robber. He robbed an elderly woman, took her purse. Spider-Man would then grab the robber, hang him upside down, and swing off. So they did that, and then they left him there for six to eight hours to swing, <laughs> and hmm. then. Uh, afterwards, he was like, oh, Tom, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do this, blah, 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 blah. However, the scene was never put into the movie. It was cut. Aww. Deleted scene. Exactly. Aww. It became a part of the thing. The only reason I know about it is because he talked about it on the uh, what's, uh, the Graham show. Oh, Graham Norton <laughs> show, yeah. The Graham Norton <laughs> show. <laughs> and he felt so bad because his brother was like, oh, he's hyped to be in a movie. And it's like, yeah, you're actually part of the deleted scene. Sorry. <laughs> so it's like, ooh. But again, it's just, yeah, that's the thing. Like, I think, yeah, the MCU is just like a big, they have these big grand plan, but like mm. you said, they just don't think about it. <laughs> uh, I, I think I, they, they've just, they've just gone too big. And yeah, like, yeah. Just gone too many, gotten too many. Mm-hmm. It just keeps on growing and growing. And I'm not sure whether, uh, I'm not sure whether they actually have like a, a, a line drawn like okay this is where, where it's gonna be enough now <laughs> yeah. it's, it's it's somehow somehow it's just gonna be like no nope, we're gonna go past it anyway <laughs> um i mean you can say the same thing with the star wars universe too for that matter well right? it's okay so that that's actually the truth that was literally where i was about to lead into like the star Wars movies oh my god the star Wars movies again again up more until <laughs> if we if we do disney dude you know that's gonna go this this podcast would go way longer yeah. if we did disney yeah so well, let, let's, let's, well i mean marvel and this anyways go on. Well, look go we, on. we get we, well look you know what you that's fair technically yes disney does own it i get that that is the company mm-hmm. but a lot of the current decisions for marvel is not disney <laughs> let's put it that way yeah. Star Wars, however, ah, now that's something we could t- we could touch bases. Sure. Uh, <laughs> but like ba- the previous ones, the previous ones. Actually, you could even I just thought about it, you could even add Indiana Jones, the last two oh. Indiana Jones. <gasps> oh. <sighs> that's Ouch. yeah. But even Star the most Wa- recent one that just came out, right? I heard yeah. now. I heard this one is a flop for Indiana Jones. They send him off nicely. They send him off nicely, but it's a flop, and it's to do with. Are you all ready to say it with me? Time travel. Time travel. Oh, Here we go god. again. Oh, oh, really? Oh god. Aliens to me got to the when it hit aliens. I was like, no, no, that's it. Stop. I love my this Indiana Jones. Shark. This, this was this this tread on a line where it's like, I, I really don't think we need to go down that path. And then when I heard, they jumped over. Yep. <laughs> and then when I heard about this one, I just went, uh, the door's on the left, right? Yeah, but bye. <laughs> oh, my boss was telling about me and what happened. Like, I, I didn't care about the spoiler. But when he told me it, I was like, I'm sorry, what? Huh? I was like, oh, cool. Indy gets a nice send off, but. Well, why it's, it, it's indie in the quest for the last box office revenue um <laughs> whatever so pennies actually, are yeah. left in the drawer um like harrison God. ford's a great don't get me harrison ford great actor and all that but he, he must have known this would have this would have either ki- either either made or killed that rest of his career i'm sorry yeah. but 
Oof. <laughs> Perhaps yeah. it's time to think about retirement. <laughs> I think that I think that was his actual last official yeah. movie. I could be wrong, but I feel like that's his last official movie he's doing. Because we all know what happened in Star Wars. Shink. Oh, yeah. Daddy, Episode no. Seven. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, the the other thing I've heard with the Star Wars movie. Mm. Uh, so, sorry, it's not the Indiana, Indiana Jones movie. Sorry, Indiana. Either, Indiana. either or. Yep. Is they don't know how to write uh, aging uh, male stars. It's like it's like he lost his family. He's well, what, no, uh, I think has a drinking I problem, th- and think, it's like I think he still had a kid. No, I think he still had a daughter in that, didn't he? I remember someone saying he had a daughter or a son. There was someone yeah. in the movie that was there. I remember yeah. something because I know his son. No, his son did die in war. I remember that, but he then had a daughter. I think it was the daughter. This one, I could mm. be wrong though. I can't remember. This wasn't um, uh, Shia LaBeouf in the fourth movie was supposed to be his son, and too, that's or? that. No, no, that's that is the son. Shia LaBeouf played Indy's son, but from what I understand, and this, <laughs> I was told that wasn't meant to happen. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, yeah, Shia LaBeouf was not meant to be the son. Uh, well, maybe that's yeah. how we send him back in time. Uh, well, from what I understand, yeah, he died in he died in a war. He went back somewhere and he got shot or killed, and da 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 da. And it's like that's where Indy obviously went downhill from there. But it's like, really, like, god damn. Mm. I don't. I feel like if you if you do a genre of a movie style like that, and then you start to go, let's add aliens, time travel. I think you're like you either got to really hit that nail on the head right. Or it's just going to be a dang flop. <laughs> yeah. And it turns out it's the latter. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. And then we got mm. Star Wars, which... Uh, <sighs> that oh. how, how do you go from what you had, and then you go to... What was the uh, the wild last one with Raya in it, and then Skywalker... Oh, what was that one called? Right. One that's, uh, right. Nine was... Um... Rise of Skywalker. Rise That's the one. Skywalker. Rise of Skywalker. Yeah. Look, yeah. I'm glad they went the path I did with Skywalker. I think that technically, if you think about it, that is the right way of doing it. And then you see Rey take over, but she's not really a Jedi. She's more. I think they said she's a, a white now, white or a gray. I think that's what it is. The again, political term. I don't know. I I don't know the full lore of Star Wars, but yeah, she's a, mm. a gray now. Like to me, you're done. That's it. Don't. Don't put any more. Don't throw any. Don't do anything extra. Leave well, it as it is. Well, yeah. the I mean, part partly that trilogy suffered. I will. The hell I'll <laughs> die on is the second movie in that. Um, second movie. Uh, right, right. Eight. Yes. Oh, uh, eight. Oh, eight. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, well, where they, yeah. well, J.J. Abrams uh, had. All these interesting plot hooks. He's set, setting up interesting mysteries from seven. Mm-hmm. A little cookie cutter, but you know he set set things up, and mm-hmm. then everything like who is Snoke? What what what's what's his relevance? He's a very mysterious, very powerful character. The Last Jedi. That's then, what it was. The Last Jedi, and yeah. then gets hacked, killed easily, and it's like, well, that was. Anticlimactic, yeah. Well, Anticlimactic. that's true. And I mean, because like, they never like, said they never, Leia's, yeah, yeah, they never really explained him, did they? They just said he's the Dark Lord. I'm like, so was Vader, so was this person. Mm-hmm. Can we get a little bit more detail than just he's this? It's like, dude, if you threw Anakin in there with the way he looked, or um, what's his face? Mm. What's who's the lot? Who's the other, the Dark Lord? Um, uh, Kylo Ren, not Kylo Ren, the one, no. Going Darth way back, da, no, not Darth Maul. The, the the big honcho, the one that was controlling everyone. Um, uh, Emperor, the Palpatine. Emperor Palpatine. 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 Yeah. We all knew he. We thought he was the big one, but in this movie, there's no reference to it. It's like, so is Palpatine an underling of Sloth, or is Sloth the underling? To, like, wh- where did this come from? Like, even I did. Like, yeah. I I looked at him and went, "What's his origin? Like, mm. where did he come from?" Yeah, this so, is, it's like we, we've had to um, uh, had to do so much, and then it's like the oh, it's, it's like J.J. Abrams in the 
in nine, movie nine, had to like recreate things, you know, kind of bury the stuff from the yeah. second movie. No, well, that's true. Eight, and like had to try to rebuild things in the first half of the movie so he can try to defeat them in the second half of the movie. And, you know, it just doesn't quite work, but at least <laughs> I, 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 he's, he's trying. You know, yeah, that's he's true. Lens flare problem. <laughs> but, uh, oh, oh, God. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> Jeez, I wonder how many lenses he burnt out with that. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I, I think broken Star cameras. Trek lead uh, in uh, uh, the first Star Trek movie. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> uh, I think I remember. Think I think I never saw it, but I but I heard that the the Han Solo movie wasn't that great either. Oh, the ha- that, that that, that was, flopped. That, was that that was a mistake to begin with. Like I thought, this could be cool. First ten minutes, I think I'm going to be no. sick. <laughs> I was like, yeah, no. I, I no, I I wouldn't. I'm glad I didn't. So, I I watched that in VR. I'm um, if I was at the cinemas, I would have literally just turned around and walked out. So can I have my money back? Just out of there already. I, oh. I think I did see it in the cinema. Oh, did I watch it at home? I don't remember which. Uh, mm. That was that. It was that, a mistake. You know, you know, if you would have done a prequel right before A New Hope, with that would have that probably would have done well with a de- mm. with hell with a D H Harrison Ford. That would have worked. I mean, that, that is true. Mm. That is true. Um, yeah. so, uh, <laughs> Solo, that is a uh, spinoff that needs to be avoided <laughs> yeah well look you can watch it and it may fill in a few blanks <laughs> but d- d- don't waste money on it let's put it that way <laughs> so what's your thoughts on The Mandalorian I haven't watched it yet uh, I'm like I that's the one I've been I, I want to watch it I have too many customers coming in at work telling me about it I've got my I've got there's literally posters and flyers and everything in my store about the thing. I'm like, I mean, fine, I'll, I'll watch it. it. All the merch on Zing, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I want to watch it. I want to understand it. Because, again, I didn't mind the Mandalorian character. I just, I wish I knew more about it. So, uh, no way, yeah, I'll I, tell you. Yeah. So I kind of want to get it. Like, I'm hoping someone in my family has Disney Plus, but no one has yet. So I might have to <clears throat> do some <clears throat> uh, extensive watching somewhere ah uh, no comment about that uh, <laughs> i mean if you get disney plus you gotta have something, something for your nephew to watch or for some kids shows there uh, i've sure. got net i've got freaking fetch playing nickelodeon now that nickelodeon's a part of it now nickelodeon and abc kids and all that he doesn't he does not spend any time in front of the tv i have it literally on full volume and everything he'll look at it and go ah and then he just turns around and goes and does something else i'm like <laughs> okay, you're clearly not the sit down type. I see how it is. He'll only sit down on your lap to read a book, and even then, he doesn't really pay attention. So, <laughs> yeah, there's no All point right. getting Disney Plus. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe he I'll might try. get old. Maybe when he's older, he might settle down. But at the moment, oh my god, he's literally he's literally got like an engine up his ass, and he just goes. <laughs> he gets distracted way too easily. Well, he 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 just the pretty colors on the screen really don't do it for him nope so well well, it is what it is (laughs) well maybe he'll actually have more of a life outdoors i don't know well he might you never know (laughs) all right well i think that brings us to pretty much the end of the uh the first official podcast um so before we end what what do you any like do you guys have got any checkpoints you want to quickly talk about get that off finish that off or do you want to say something because again we've, we have talked about a fair few different companies that have done some really well stupid shit <laughs> yeah so, i mean it's it's not gonna end anytime soon we'll see what this upcoming year is uh all the <laughs> triple a announcements and get consoles go and things like that so well what would you say this is a part or, or one VR a part sets? Yeah, that, you know what we didn't touch on that maybe this should be a part one how about we do this is the bad decisions part one and do another one another time yeah we could do that yeah, actually because you, be... you know like the, the oculus oculus pro cancelled oh, already hasn't even God. been out a year yeah and then supposedly the index pro was supposed to be a thing yeah oh, that didn't go very freaking well where's that gone <laughs> yeah yeah we're, we're uh, still waiting for index two. Oh yeah 2.0 yeah exactly yeah. 
Uh, <laughs> oh god. I honestly, I hope, I hope if they do do a uh, an index two, I hope it's wireless. I really Ooh, would. That would be nice. Ah, uh, so uh, I, I have my, my uh, uh, you might know, <laughs> uh, co-host. Uh, um, your your co-host on what was it, Corey? What was it? What's your what's your co-host name again? What, what's it a part of again? Do you want to let everyone know? <laughs> you know, on Crit critically acclaimed Thursday with uh, Nash Darkfire, uh, you know, will be um, very. He's you know, the, there's the debate between wireless and cabled. So mm. it's uh, again, yeah. Uh, that maybe that's a that's maybe. Well, actually, there's a new topic. I could, I'm going to add that to my list for things. Yeah, Let's, do that. Ah. The next topic, uh, headsets, wireless or wired? What would you choose? Ooh. Actually, that's an idea. I'm actually going to... Let me put that in my topics for next time. I mean, <laughs> talk, talk about all of VR and... Uh, you know, well, things. yeah, that's, a, that's actually not a bad idea. That's probably something we could do. Yeah. yeah. Wireless or cabled. All right, yeah. put that in there. Um... Yeah. Anyway, I think yeah, we'll we'll put it there because I think we're all very we're very busy beans. We've all got things to do, uh, food to nom on because I am definitely hungry. Uh, <laughs> mm. <laughs> um, big. Yeah, uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for joining us for our first official podcast. Um, that went really well. I feel. I feel like we that we got a Woo! fair few things talked about. Um, I feel like we all, we had a good chat. What do you guys think? I think yeah. so. Yeah, this was fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks. For, th yeah, thanks for having me. I was no great. worries. Yeah. Um, so we'll bef now normally at the, this type of cast we would usually do a thing where it's a highlight reel where we would highlight a smaller streamer, content creator. Um, however, I haven't had a lot of time to quickly do that, so I haven't had a chance to interview someone. So I will have to leave it for this week. As of next week, I will bring it in. I will grab the uh, particular person I had in mind, and we'll do a quick little mini interview. And I will share that with you guys and we will yeah do that for next week. But again, thank you guys for joining us for the first official podcast of Weeb Time. I'm, I I just hope we, this can go really well. Like I really want this to do well. Um, and hey, if you guys are interested and want to be a part of it, we definitely have the Discord for where you can come join us. Um, if you want to find out anything, come check out me on my Twitch channel. I'm Dark and Tiger on twitch.tv forward slash Dark and Tiger. Um, if you've got any questions, queries or anything, or hell, if you want to just drop a topic idea, please let me know. I'm more than happy to take those on board. Um, and if you want to catch up with either Corey or Marcus, uh, Corey, do you want to let them know where they can find you? I am. Uh, um, I um, stream uh, three, four days a week on Twitch, uh, and a new, which is Corey Kuma. And, or you can check out some DJ sets on Mixcloud or YouTube. Um, and then, you know, Corey Kuma and all the other platforms as well. So, you know, if you... Yeah, come check out the ice den sometime if you're interested. There you go. And Marcus, yes, you can find me all on Twitch as well under Marcus Wolfie, and uh, I'm also Marcus Wolfie on other socials on TikTok, on Instagram, and and uh, Twitter slash X, whichever it is now. But <laughs> one but of them, yeah. Under underscores yeah. vary, underscores vary, but yeah, you'll find, easily find Marcus Wolfie on all socials and Twitch, of course. <laughs> there you go and again guys thank you so much for joining us thank you marcus thank you Corey, for joining me i really do appreciate it thank you yeah thank and you. and i award you both your badge of weeb time so welcome to the first official one you are the first two to get your first official weeb badge Woo! <laughs> <Wee>! <laughs> maybe i might do that as i think i don't know we'll work it out that'll be something cool to maybe do the guest <laughs> um yeah, I'm gonna we're gonna call it here, guys. So thank you so much for joining us. Catch us next week. Uh, next week I'll have two new guests with me, and we will be talking about who knows what. It could be sports. It could be anime. It could be TV shows. Maybe the debate, which is better, wireless recorded. Who knows? But only time will tell. Until then, take care, guys. My name is Dark and Tiger. That is Marcus Woofy. Hello. See you later. That is Corey Kuma. Yeah, cheers, everyone. And we will see you all in the next one. Take care and be safe. Week Bye. time. Bye. Over. Oh, God, I'm falling out. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Right. And cut.